Lynn Woods is located right outside of Boston, Massachusetts, and when I decided to film here, I knew there was only one trail to hit. Wicked Hide. This trail is only a half a mile long. It's super short, but it's super fun. The entrance is a little funky over some rocks and squeezing through some tight trees, but after the first 20 feet, it opens up into some fun, flowy East Coast single track. I've personally never found so much technical riding in one spot in my entire life. You can use some apps or some maps to navigate this place, but it really is a labyrinth of technical trails everywhere. So your best bet is going to try to find a local to help you dissect this place. This first part of the trail has a lot more small rocks and obstacles than you'll find later on into the trail. I like to attack this stuff floating over the seat, light on the pedals, and with some momentum. When you carry some speed into these sections, you could choose where you pedal, and you're a lot less likely to pedal strike on the ground. When you ride Wicked Hard in reverse, it's called Surf City, and it's a descent. So as I get into this next section, I climb up some of the Surf City option lines. So this one right here, I'm climbing up to the right, the typical wicked hard line would be around to the left. And then I head into this next section where I do a step up and cut to the right before doubling back to the left. So that would be the normal line, but I cut back to go around this tree and then I have a nice steep up. The traction is unreal on these rocks. The only thing you have to do is watch out for your camera and try to climb up this slick rock. As you get up higher on these rocks, there's some really fun rollers. I decided to make things a little bit harder on myself again by adding in another Surf City line in reverse. So as I come around this turn, the Wicked City line would be straight ahead, but I bang a hard right and do this handlebar high step up. The run into this rock step up is super awkward and you only have a bike length and a half before you have to deal with this crevasse. It's not pretty, so try to get through there however you can, and then once you do, you get to ride on the top of so these really fun rock spines. This is probably the fastest and flowiest section of the entire trail. This is super fun, and then you head into this really steep rock roll down. I know it doesn't look it from this angle, but this is really, really steep. Following somebody through these slick rock sections could really come in handy. Just knowing where to go could be the difference between cleaning it and not, and it could get a little confusing trying to figure out the right lines. As you come around this turn, there's a really cool rock armored section. I like to stay on the gas and keep pedaling so I can have some speed to make it up and over this rock pile and up and on to the next one. After that, you're gonna wanna use this rock roll down to get some speed and make it up this next face and then dump it into your lowest gear possible because you have some serious climbing coming up. This is really steep, but the traction is unbelievable. And even though I'm in my easiest gear possible, I still have to hop to make it around this turn. Now, normally you'd finish Wicked Hard by just pedaling straight ahead, but I do a 180 and go for a first descent. So up and onto this rock, around the curve, and now there's a 15 foot drop to my left hand side and the side slope so steep I can't turn the pedal. So I have to do some side hops and get my bike far enough where I can turn over the pedals and bust out a wheelie across the top of this plateau. It's time to high five your buddies because you just cleared Wicked Hard.